Today we let Smash Ultimate Imperialism decide which subspace emissary team is truly the best. Let me explain. So on this wheel are six different teams. We don't know the competitors yet. I do, but you don't. And every single team is comprised of five people that joined forces in the subspace emissary. If you don't know what that is, in Smash Brothers Brawl, they had a story mode called the Subspace Emissary where different characters teamed up and joined forces to defeat the evil in that game. Although I haven't posted videos on it on the channel, I played the Subspace Emissary. It's probably the most well-known Smash game and everyone was hoping World of Light would kind of be like that. It wasn't. It was okay. Nothing will ever top Subspace Emissary. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please look it up after this episode. But every team has five characters on it so we're going to spin this wheel and see which team it lands on we will then spin this arrow to see which way that team will be attacking let's say the wheel landed on team one and then the arrow pointed south team one which is led by kirby would travel south until they reached zero suit samus's team which i'm pretty sure is team five I have the list and I will go into details later of who's on what team, but um, yeah, there's a captain for each team. We're headed back into squad strike, um, so it's going to be five versus five, so only a few battles today, but they should be a little longer in length. Um, the captain that is defending will have their home turf, home field advantage. Um, and we're actually going to disregard the 10% damage handicap rule from the last season, if you will. This is season three, in quotes. Um, I saw a few complaints about the um, percent damage, so we're going to try at least this one without it. I may come up with a different rule as the season goes on, but for this first one, we're just going to go back to classic, no damage handicap. It's just going to be skill against skill and um, the luck of the wheel and the arrow so anyway leave which team you think is going to win in the comments all you know right now is the team leader so maybe once you hear the teams you'll understand who you want to vote for but put down in the comments who you think is going to win because subspace emissary imperialism starts now and the first wheel spin is underway we are going to see team four is attacking team four comprises of zelda peach lucario snake and mr game and watch and team four will be attacking northwest team four will be attacking team five which is comprised of zero suit samus pikachu samus ice climbers and diddy kong Let's see who wins this first battle. So here we go. We got the princesses with Lucario, Snake, and Game & Watch going up against the trifecta of Pikachu and Samus. And Zero Suit Samus is technically the same person, but we're not going to talk about that. And Ice Climbers and Diddy Kong. Um, Zero Suit Samus' team is really one of the only teams that's kind of just a miscellaneous hodgepodge of people. Most of these teams, at least at some point in the Subspace Emissary, join together, and that's how I made these teams. Um, but some of them aren't going to quite end up perfect because every team needed five, and sometimes people had five, they had seven, they had four, they had two. I just kind of had to make it up as we went along, so I do apologize and hope you still enjoy the Imperialism. Here we go. We're just going to go random order for both teams. So we've done 3 versus 3 squad strike, but now we're doing 5v5. So Game & Watch is up, up against Zero Suit Samus, Lucario against Diddy, Snake against Pikachu, Ice Climbers against Peach, and then Zelda against Samus. And we are on Metroid Home Turf because Zero Suit Samus is the... Um, the leader of or the representative of that team here we go so game and watch is honestly getting a huge lead right now zero suit samus has not hit game and watch quite yet 
Finally! We get something. We get an up B out of Samus. And, oh, okay, she even comboed that with a down B. So you gotta be careful of the floor because it does rise and the acid um, does hurt you. That is the stage um, hazard. So be very cautious. A good grab into an up tilt. Into another grab, down throw, up air. Okay, Zero Suit Samus get a little combo going. Oh, tried to charge up with the neutral beat. Did not quite work out. But that down B backflip is doing her tons of favors right now. Game & Watch went for the hammer. Did not work. Oh. Okay, so it's pretty much tied up. Game & Watch still has a lead right now because he just started off the round so hot. And he's still doing wonders right now. His aerial attack is great, but Samus is trying to retaliate with her own aerial attack. Next hit should break the smash ball. Okay, apparently I'm dumb. All right, there we go. Zero Suit Samus did get it. And she does land it. That might be a stock. It is. Zero Suit Samus' team takes the lead and Lucario enters. Zero Suit Samus is honestly holding it, holding strong right now. The more damage Lucario takes, the more rage he builds up, which means he does more damage. So if I'm Zero Suit Samus, I'm really just trying to use my mobility and aerial attacks to the to my advantage. Good parry into a grab. Waits out the counter into an up tilt. A double up tilt, actually. Oh, that was a good counter from Lucario, though. And Lucario, what is he doing? Okay, Diddy Kong is now on the field, but Lucario has already taken a good bit of damage. Oh, good fully charged aura, though. Or a ball thing. I don't know what it's called. I think it's Aura Sphere, actually. Oh, Down Smash is parried by Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's mobility is really, really good. Honestly, the um, the Zero Suit Samus team has tons of mobility. Her and then Pikachu and Diddy. They have... It's, it's really just mobility against power right now. Alright, Diddy is just in the air, juggling Lucario like it's nobody's business, like it's his day job. Lucario is at max damage and rage. Once he gets past 100, he can't build up any more rage, but Diddy with a forward smash. And here comes the Season 2 winner, Snake, who just dropped a sticky bomb on himself. We, we don't question the methods here. What is... Dude, what is happening right now? Snake is folding. He won the whole freaking thing last episode. Against Kazuya. Good up smash, though. That was... That was beautiful. Diddy. Oh, tried to get an up tilt combo, but does get a grab and a back throw. So that is helpful. Forward air. Side B does not land. That up smash might... Nope. The platform blocked it. That's crazy. Goes through the stage. Diddy. Okay. Was able to get back. Dude, Diddy's aerial camping game is crazy. The edge guards are immaculate. Okay, good dash attack. Oh, the sticky bomb wasn't quite on point. But the up smash was. Snake is trying to claw his team back. But Pikachu is the next opponent. And man, the, the mobility continues. From... This team, it is just crazy. Ooh, I can't believe that Snake got out of that in time. That was craziness. Okay. What happened? Wait, did Snake... What ha Was it his sticky bomb? Okay, here comes Peach. I... Dude, this team is crazy. They are really, really good right now. I mean, they almost have a whole stock advantage. If Pikachu gets a really good hit... Oh, yeah, okay, they are over a whole stock advantage. Wow, it is just not good right now. Okay, Peach is doing everything she can, but I don't think it's going to be good enough right now. The um, deficit that Game & Watch caused at the start is... I think it might be too big to claw back from. Pikachu wasn't paying attention to the stage... Peach isn't either. She's letting it happen. I don't know what's going on with our competitors today. They really just don't understand this stage. But I think it's going to work out for Team Zero Suit Samus. Because 
they're on lock right now. I mean, having that home field advantage, I, I guess Samus gave uh, Game & Watch the, um, the uh, floor plans of like, you know, hey, here's how this home field advantage works. Oh, the neutral air! And then saves the Smash Ball. Zelda, what are you doing? Okay, down smash into... Oh no! <laughs> Pikachu! I thought that was a... Oh my gosh, I thought that was free. Oh no, Pikachu actually just took his own stock. And now Ice Climbers, they're just finishing the job. Honestly, we might not even see Samus. We might not. What Zelda needed was the Smash Ball. But... Okay, hold on, dude. She's she's cooking up something right now. Like, honestly, it's not looking great, but it Zelda. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Zelda. Zelda, what are you doing? Zelda, you were doing so good, and then all of a sudden you just stopped playing. Like, what what are we doing, Zelda? Okay, good good way to separate them. Back throw that gets them. Zelda gets us to Samus, but I don't think it's going to matter. If Zelda makes this comeback, this is going to be crazy. Samus has a full neutral B charged. That is dangerous for Zelda right now. Ford Air is not going to do it. I thought they would have launched the neutral B, but a back air is. Zelda tried to claw back. But Samus said no. Home field advantage really did help. And if Game & Watch did not have... Oh, wait, actually, no. Game & Watch was on the other team. I forgot about that. It was weird, right? Because Game & Watch kind of dominated that whole first half. And then, all of a sudden, Blue Team just took the lead. Um, I mean, Zelda. Props to Zelda. She... She put her life on the line. The team captain trying to rally the troops. But it was just a little too late. You gotta love imperialism. I mean, it's always just so much fun to watch. And now that it's a 5v5, really anything can happen. We saw in the 3v3 squad strike imperialism that any team can do anything. Unless you're team villains, in which case you just always win. But like... Anything can truly happen. And now that the handicap is not applied, really any team can win it all. But we need to see which team that is. And we spin the wheel again. Team 4 has been eliminated. Next, we're going to see Team 6. And Team 6 is comprised of King DDD, Ness, Luigi, Bowser, and Sonic. And Team 6 will be attacking north. Upon further review, there was a tad east to the north. So if we go from the bottom, it does intersect here at this corner with Fox's team. Team 6 is scary, but Team 2, which is comprised of Fox, Falco, Olimar, Captain Falcon, and Donkey Kong... That's a scary team, too. I really don't know which team has an advantage here. I wanted to give it to King DDD's team, Team 6, because of Bowser. And honestly, DDD is really good. But Donkey Kong Captain Falcon, that's a scary combo as well. Here we go. The stage is set. DDD, Ness, Luigi, Bowser, Sonic against Fox, Falco, DK, Olimar, and Captain Falcon. We are on... Um, Fox's spaceship, what is it called? The, the Cornea? I, I don't know, I just named a part of the eyeball. Uh, here we go! Sonic against Falco, which honestly I think is a really good match. And then DDD and DK is really good. Ness and Olimar I feel like is one-sided, but Olimar always makes me angry, so I don't know, maybe not. Luigi, Falco, and then Bowser, Fox. Okay, here we go. I'm very excited about this. We got two speedsters, but sadly for Sonic, Captain Falcon hits like a freight train when he attacks. So, it's not great for Sonic, but, I mean, 
Sonic is fast. I think he's probably faster than Captain Falcon, which I'm sure is canonically true. So that might... That might really help. Oh! Sonic went for the spring and Captain Falcon went low, almost SD'd off of it. But the computers know pretty much the limits of the recovery. They very rarely SD due to a failed recovery. Early smash ball. Early, early smash ball. Next hit or two should break it. Captain Falcon got it. I thought Sonic had it somehow. But Falcon was able to grab it. If Falcon can get like a down tilt or something... He just ripped it. He said, I don't want Sonic to have it. And you know what? I can respect that. Sonic's aerial game right now is a lot for Falcon to handle. Ooh, the down smash. Okay. Grab, back, throw. And then Sonic actually uses that to his advantage for a forward aerial. Very, very interesting. Up smash from Falcon. Forward air from Sonic. The spaceship is saving both competitors. A down B is not able to get Sonic's stock, but my gosh, it was close. Ooh, Falcon has been so close to getting Sonic's stock. Has not been able to do it! A back air from Sonic gets Captain Falcon, and DK is going to try and get Sonic's stock before it's too late, before too much damage is accrued. But Sonic's speed might be a lot for DK to handle. He has a big hitbox. Which is both a blessing and a curse. Sonic right now is using that to his advantage. DK does get a neutral air. Charges up the, the Fist of Doom. Almost SD's due to that spaceship. Has a fully charged neutral B. Grab. Up throw. Was not able to combo off of that. So Sonic is still here. Sonic's getting a lot of damage. And DK finally pops that neutral B. Fully charged, and another Smash Ball is online. DK was able to get it. He better use it before Diddy uh, or DDD knocks it out of him. Oh my gosh. Okay, blocks most of the up air. DK is falling victim to the side B just onslaught from DDD, but he missed the Smash Ball. It was point blank. Was he too close? Like, how did he miss it? I don't understand. DDD has a huge lead right now due to Sonic and just his neutral B just being overpowered, honestly. And I'm not saying overpowered as in, like, in general. The CPU just uses it to perfection. As well as the forward air. Oh my gosh. Here comes Olimar. He always just somehow wins out of nowhere. Okay. Wow. Alamar is just going nuts right now. What? Dude, he can't get hit! Oh my gosh. Alamar needs like a, a smash attack to get DDD out of here. He's throwing the Pikmin. Honestly, a forward smash or a down smash or something right there would have been perfect. Oh, the stage hazards! Hitting DDD! And he just has enough on the recovery. That's crazy. A little forward throw. Olimar with the footstool! Are you kidding me? Here comes Ness, Mr. PK Fire. Another Smash Ball is online. Every Smash Ball so far has not been hit, but Ness... His smash is pretty automatic. Is Olimar gonna... There's no way he lives... Okay. I was about to say, if he lives this, that is impressive. Alright, Falco's on deck. This is technically his home turf as well. But, we're gonna see what happens. Falco's doing really good to block most of the PK fires. Honestly, Ness is spamming them like he is an online player. And Falco's doing a great job. Ness, however, has taken about a full stock lead. Wow. Oh, if that forward smash landed, it wouldn't have taken the stock, but man, that would have been that would have been really good. Oh, PK Thunder? Oh, it doesn't get the up air. Falco gets the neutral air. 
If he goes for a forward air, it might work out for him. Oh, up air from Ness. Another up air doesn't really connect. I mean, it kind of does, but not really. Oh, good parry from Falco. Into an up smash. Ness is tearing it up. Fox is on deck. His home turf. And he is going to try and rally the troops like Zelda. But he might have the same result as Zelda. It's just, I mean, three? You're going to need to, like, really take no damage until Bowser. And you're going to need, like, two Smash Balls. I I'm sorry. It's just, that's just how it is. Ness is using that mobility to his advantage. Oh, my gosh. Falco is fast, but he cannot keep up right now. He can't get really good hits on Ness. He gets... He's getting little damage and chips, but he's not getting, like, any... That was an interesting move. I don't know why he did that. The recovery, and that's got a free down air. Fox gets a forward smash, but I think it's a little too late. I just don't see Fox winning unless Luigi has a catastrophic misplay. And then even then, I think Bowser just wins, you know, like, at the end. Luigi's gonna say, we won't see Bowser, actually. He's really going for it. Luigi is using that grab like no one's business. Oh my gosh, here, here's the smash ball. If Luigi gets it, it's over. It might already be over. If Fox gets it, he might have a chance. Oh, Luigi, yeah. okay, it's over. Well, Fox, thanks for playing. Um, we appreciate you. Team 6 is terrifying. I don't see any team that beats them. We didn't see their fifth player. They went nuts. Ness was insane. Sonic honestly handled their biggest threat, I believe, which was Captain Falcon. And then even if somehow Luigi failed, which he didn't, he's a terror, they had Bowser. So I, I don't see any team losing to Team 6. Here we are. Four teams remain. It looks like Kirby's team won a game. They didn't. They just had a lot of land at the start. I don't know why. Marth has, like, no land to his name. I do apologize. Um, let's spin the wheel and see who's next up on the docket. Here we go. Team one, two, five. And I thought it was going to roll over to six. I was like, wow, this is poetic. We're going to see team five. We have not seen. No, we have seen team five. I was going to say we haven't seen them, but I think we have. Team 1 and Team 2 are the teams we haven't seen. Back to Team 5. And they will be attacking East. Team 5, which is Zelda's team, we already went over that, is attacking Team 2, which is led by Marth. Joining Marth on his team is Ike, Meta Knight, Pokemon Trainer, and Lucas. And this time, they get home field advantage. Worked out for Samus' team. Let's see if it comes back to bite them this time. Here we go, the gang's all here. We are on Castle Siege, which is Marth's home territory. We're gonna see who is fighting who. Random order for both teams. Samus against Ike, Pikachu against Lucas, that'll be really, really good. Ice Climbers against Meta Knight, Diddy Kong versus Pokemon Trainer, and then Zero Suit Samus versus Marth. We have the two captains ending this off if we get to see them face one another. Let's see how this works. We got Sword versus Cyborg. Alright, Samus gets the first hit with a... Not like a grab, but it is her grab move. Okay, Ike is just going nuts. <laughs> it was a down tilt into an up tilt into an, like, up smash. I, I don't even know what's going on right now. He's just having fun. Okay, good forward tilt. Up! Oh my gosh, forward air as well. Samus almost didn't make it back. Ike is going nuts right now. Home field advantage is... Making a huge difference today. Grab into a forward throw. Okay, grab into an up throw, but Samus really couldn't combo after that. Oh, the recovery from Ike. 
try, really trying to use that as an attack. Back air almost did it. But almost doesn't count. Ike really just needs to hit Samus with almost anything. Even a dash attack, I think, would do it at this point. Ooh, tried the counter. Was not successful. Down air into the recovery. Finally lands. And he gets Samus' first stock with very little damage, mind you. Only 30%. Pikachu is going to try and change that right now. He is very, very agile. And the Smash Ball could make a difference. Last time Pikachu had the Smash Ball, he SD'd. So we're going to see if Pikachu get He does get it again. Gets it knocked out immediately. Next hit should break the Smash Ball. Pikachu is really not going for it. Ike gets it this time. He doesn't land it, but he almost did, and Pikachu can't use it. They already have a whole stock advantage. It might be two stocks in a minute. Ike is trying to solo Team Zero Suit Samus. This is nuts, and he's actually doing a really good job. Pikachu guarding the ground, making sure Ike just doesn't hit the floor, and honestly, it's doing wonders for Pikachu. Because when Ike hits the floor and he's he's planted, it's honestly just really bad for the enemy team. Oh, the counter! Pikachu was doing so good. Counter popped. And here come the Ice Climbers. Can they stop Ike's reign? I mean, he got a lot of damage. Pikachu did work on Ike. Good counter from Ike. He's really utilizing that counter, and it's effective like he's using it well it's not just using it and it's like missing okay up air from ice climbers up tilt double up tilt from ike only hit poe which is the the boy the blue guy uh once okay forward air up smash doesn't quite connect up smash from ice climbers does and now we're gonna see lucas who honestly dude if they lose, if this team loses, I'm going to be shocked. Team 2 is sitting so good right now. Ice Climbers need this Smash Ball, and they need Lucas to, like, I don't know, like, have heart palpitations or something. Because their Smash Ball isn't really that good. Lucas is running into it willingly. I don't know, like, they might have the worst Smash Ball in the game. Ice Climbers. It's just not good. Lucas... Okay, dodges the up smash. Ice Climbers, they need something, man. They need to get something going right now. Oh, PK Fire. Lucas is trying the Nest Strat, although his PK Fire is slightly different. I think it does more damage, but it's slower. Dude, Lucas's up smash is a bone crushing. Diddy Kong has joined the fray. And I think if Diddy Kong has any... Dude, that up smash is crazy. Uh, Diddy Kong's only hope is his mobility. But Lucas is... I mean, honestly, he's nimble too. Team 2 right now is just... They're, have, they're just having fun right now. I mean, they could honestly have two SDs and they'd still be in the lead. That is how monstrous Ike and Lucas have handled this so far. They could just straight up SD twice and be fine. Here we go. Diddy Kong banana forward smash combo. And now we're going to see Meta Knight. If this was Brawl, Meta Knight would, could solo. Diddy Kong doesn't make it back. He ran out of peanut juice, peanut oil, whatever, in his jetpack. And it's up to Zero Suit Samus, the captain, to try and do what Zelda and I don't even know who was who did it last time they haven't done it effectively because the 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 gap is just too wide zelda did get the smash ball hold on if she connects she does she could okay she brings it to two stocks she took very little damage with meta knight here pokemon trainer is here if pokemon trainer like instantly dies i might cry he's my main he's been getting bodied in every imperialism he's been in so I really hope he just shows the world that he's not trash. But it's not looking great. <laughs> it's really not. Here comes Ivysaur. Zelda's in a precarious situation here. Gets out of it. Okay, I was going to say she's like right up against the um, 
the border of the stage. Found that very odd. Okay. If Zelda could flip the script here, she could get an early cheeky stock here. She needs to honestly stay below 60 if she can help it. If she stays below 60... Dude, back throw kills! What is she doing? Back throw would have actually gotten the stock, I think. Okay, interesting. Switching from Charizard to Squirtle. Trying to use the mobility against Zelda, even though she is probably the, like one of the most mobile characters. Okay, trying to use the aerial game. It's not working. Charizard's back! Up air! Misses the up smash! Flare Blitz connects! And although Zelda was doing good and Pokemon Trainer was kind of folding. They got the win. And honestly, Team 2 is looking like they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team 6. We didn't see their final character either. The story of today's episode has been home field advantage. If you have it, your chances of winning are skyrocketing. Like, it is just a pure fact. I know we didn't have many teams, but this episode has felt really, really short. Um, I know the battles have been long, but it just feels short. Team 1, we finally do get to see them. They're not going to sneak into the finals just because the wheel said so. Team 1 consists of Kirby, Mario, Link, Pit, and Yoshi. Who are they attacking? And who is instantly headed to the finals? And Team 1 will be attacking East. Which means Team 1 is headed to fight the powerhouse. That is Team 6. I mean, honestly, both Team 6 and Team 2 are just bonkers. I mean, the teams are just really well-rounded. Um, yeah. Team 1, honestly, I think they could do good. I don't know if they can really contend with either team. We're going to find out. Let's see. If Team 1 can pull off an upset, or if it's going to be the two powerhouses clashing in the final. Congrats to Team 2 for making it there. At this point, we have seen every single team, if we include this fight. Um, we're headed to the Fountain of Dreams, which is DDD's home turf. Hopefully, the rest of his team gets the memo. Random order for both. And we are going to see... Yoshi against Ness, Pit against DDD, Kirby against Bowser, Mario against Sonic. That's a classic. And then Link and Luigi. All right, let's do it. I think this first set, Yoshi Ness, is going to be massive. Ness did damage last time. But every time Yoshi's been in Imperialism, he's really... He's done well. Okay, down B from Yoshi is the first hit. Grab, down throw, up B. Up tilt. Wow, Yoshi's just getting a little combo going right now. Up air. Oh my gosh, Ness has not hit Yoshi yet. There we go. Okay. <laughs> down air. Wow. Ness cannot get going right now. Team 1, aka what I'm going to call Team Hero, they're really tearing it up. Okay. Up air from Ness. Dodges the down air. Gets a little PK fire side B action. Tries to get a forward air. Doesn't really connect. Back air. Miss it. Okay. She's finally, someone hit an aerial. I think that was just a neutral air from Yoshi. Good dodge of the grab from Ness. And then a grab himself. Down throw. Tried, I think, for a forward air. Really didn't work out. Double PK fire, but Yoshi gets out of it. Gets an up air as well. Grab into an up throw from Yoshi. Both contestants are at kill percent. They just need a good hit. Oh, Ness tried some PK Thunder cheeky actions here. Because he knows that Luigi's... Uh, wow, that's not right. He knows that Yoshi's recovery is not good. So he's trying to abuse that. He did it again there. He really... Yoshi's too close to the stage though. He really can't get anything going. Although PK fire into a dash attack, that is something that can get it going. Alright, the smash ball is active. Next hit should break it. 
Pitt got it. Interesting. He's just going to try and tie the game up instead of save it for the next competitor. Does hit Ness. And we are all tied up, basically. King DDD is here. And this might be where the battle gets lopsided. DDD is absurd. His up air, his side B, it's just, it's a mess. He, oh my gosh, Pitt went low. And if DDD's recovery was any worse, I don't think he would have made it. I, I thought Pitt was going for the footstool. And honestly, if he got it, I don't think DDD recovers. Oh, good side B from Pitt. Okay, neutral B from DDD. Tried to pair that with a forward air. Doesn't quite connect. DDD went for it all. And Pitt got a sour spot on his spike. He went for the down air. Didn't get a spike animation. Up smash from Pitt. He's honestly going toe-to-toe -to -toe with DDD. Doing really well. And honestly, Pitt might be the guy for it. That down B reflector is perfect a perfect counter for ddd side b dude okay i say that and then the next two oh the next two side b's hit but pit side b hits and the forward smash from ddd doesn't get the stock i am very shocked okay the up air is gonna do it though kirby's next kirby has handled ddd many times in his own series kirby got the smash ball if he uses it and lands it he could get he could honestly just tie it up right now Kirby what what you doing buddy he doesn't land DDD rolls out of it and a dash attack from Kirby does tie things up after two stocks everything is tied up Kirby going up against Bowser we didn't get to see Bowser last time Bowser got to rest so Let's see if that well, you know, let's see if he is well rested. Kirby's aerial game is just terrorizing Bowser. And we shouldn't see a smash ball for a little bit because Kirby just used it. So Bowser's main, like, just bread and butter, the smash ball, is not going to be online probably for his whole stock. And, I mean, unless, you know, this battle, like, you know, these two go toe-to-toe -to -toe for, like, another minute, I don't see the smash ball spawning back during Bowser's um, stock. Kirby's aerial game is absurd. Oh! <laughs> the down air! Oh my gosh, he got the spike and it works! We're going from big bad to just a really fast guy. From Bowser to Sonic, Kirby can probably handle it. This is honestly poetic. Kirby has handled... DDD and Bowser and is honestly handling Sonic. Kirby's like the main character in the Subspace Emissary. And oh my gosh, he is showing why! Dude, Kirby! This is nuts! <laughs> he goes for the... Oh my gosh. Down air, neutral air? Using the stage. This is... If Kirby gets the Smash Ball, this is... It's so over. The Oh my gosh, Kirby... Kirby's nuts! Oh my gosh. I thought this was going to be an upset. Kirby just soloed their whole team. Team 2 is going to die. It's not even close. Kirby could probably do a 1v5 and still win. And the stage is set for the finale. Team 1. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Led by Kirby. Quite literally carried by Kirby. And Team 2. Led by Marth and his squad. Kirby's team controls the north. Marth's team controls the south. Let's see who's attacking. Giving the other team home field advantage. And it looks like. Team 1 will be attacking, giving Team 2 yet another home field advantage. Team 1 didn't care about that last time, so it may not matter. It all comes down to this battle. Usually for the third battle, I up the stock count. 
I won't do that for Squad Strike. Uh, the video and the matches have been long enough, I feel. Um, we're just going to head into it. Castle Siege. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think Team 2 is going to need the home field advantage because, my gosh, the absolute nightmare that is Kirby is walking in. Here we go. Kirby, Mario, Pit, Link, and Yoshi facing Marth, Mennonite, Ike, Pokemon Trainer, and Lucas. You know the deal. We're going to do a random order for both teams. Okay, Link, Kirby. Okay, well. Mm. So Link is facing Marth, two swordsmen. Kirby against Lucas, I think that's going to be amazing. Both, honestly, Lucas and Kirby just absolutely dominated the other team. Mario is facing Mennonite. Yoshi is facing Pokemon Trainer. And Pit is going to end things off with Ike if it gets that far. Honestly, if I'm Team 1, I know we hit random. I would have saved uh, Kirby for the final. I mean, did you see what he did? Like, if things are going bad, Kirby's going to clean it up. All right. Team 2 decided to send Marth out first. They said, hey, our team captain is going to lead us to victory. And, like, quite literally lead us to victory. We're going to send him out first. All right. Seems pretty even. Marth has a bit of a lead right now. Link really can't seem to get any combos going. He's trying to set up things, and it's really not working. Marth is just going head first into it. Explosion hit both of them. That wasn't great by Link. Good Harry down tilt into up air. That was a good little combo there. Okay, he did have another... If he didn't have another jump, I didn't think he was making it back. Both competitors in the 80s are pretty close. Okay, now both in the 80s. Oh, if that end... Oh, man. If the ending animation of the upbeat from Link connected, I think Marth was going to lose a stock. Oh, good grab from Link. Oh, okay, decided that we're just going to blow both people up again. Has another bomb online. Ready to go. Oh, the force smash from Marth does get the first stock. Here comes Kirby. Watch out, everyone. All right. Kirby now has Marth's neutral B. Okay. Oh, counter from Marth. Dash attack from Kirby. Doesn't get it, but the up smash does. Here comes Lucas. Kirby only took 6% in damage. That up smash is devastating. But Kirby is more devastating. Are you seeing the combos? Oh, good recover as an attack. Didn't quite work out. Canceled Lucas's up smash, which is huge. Neutral air. Down air. He does make it back. Kirby does another neutral air. Oh my gosh, a back air! I don't think Lucas is going to make... Oh, he does... What? Lucas makes it back? Dash attack, that's it. Yep. Kirby gets a... Meta Knight just SD'd! What are they... They don't even want to fight Kirby anymore! Meta Knight just said bye! Peace out, I'm not dealing with this monster! And Kirby lands the... Are you kidding me? I mean, it's not an insta-kill, but like, my gosh... Dude, oh, we're not even going to see any other team. Oh my gosh, as soon as Kirby hits the field, he just wins. What is happening? And then Kir Kirby's just parrying everything. Pokemon Trainer, there's no hope. There is no hope. If Pokemon Trainer could somehow get rid of Kirby, it's over. It's over, dude. You're, you're done. You are dead. When Meta Knight SD'd... And Kirby hit the field? It was over. The game has been decided. Up smash. Yeah, it's over. All right, Ike. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Pretty up the scoreboard, please. Oh my gosh. Double four air gets Kirby. There's no way Ike brings this back, right? There's no way. If Ike brings this back, I will shave my eyebrows. Okay. And I'm in internship right now, so that's going to get real awkward for the students. They're going to be like, why are your eyebrows gone? I'll be like, don't, don't worry about it. 
Up smash, dude, a dash attack or a back throw grab might do it from Ike. Forward air, up smash, isn't gonna do it quite yet. Down air, into an up smash, doesn't connect. Forward air, hold on! Okay, if Ike gets Mario and then the smash ball, this is looking really good for him, honestly. Next hit should break it, Mario! He does get the smash ball! Ike! He's having trouble really getting Mario. Okay. If I'm Mario, I'm popping it. Yeah, there it goes. I think that's it. Wow. Ike, honestly, if he grabs the Smash Ball, hear me out. If he grabs the Smash Ball, gets Mario, hits it on Yoshi on the right form of that stage, I think if it's the first stage, he could... Maybe get an insta stock and then it's down to pit. I don't know, man. Kirby's just a freaking menace. Let's give it up for Kirby. And then, uh, I mean, come on. Really? Like, it's not even fit. When did Kirby become a monster? Like, Kirby's been good, but he's never been this lethal. He handled, like, Seven or eight different people in the two matches that he was in. Like, that that's just not normal. It's not. Um, anyway. That's gonna do it for, uh, Subspace Emissary Imperialism. There you have it. Team 1, a.k.a. Team Hero, does win the subspace emissary imperialism if you don't know what i'm talking about honestly look up a video it is the subspace emissary is just so so good you gotta look it up if my brawl copy worked i would honestly make a series on it i would do the subspace emissary nuzlocke that is something that um i think would be very very interesting but my brawl copy is bugged every time i put it in um, I don't know if the disc is just too much, too scratched up or something. It just can't read it. But it's not, um, it's not my TED Talk, all right? It's time to end the imperialism video. Thanks for watching. Um, honestly, it was just the Kirby show. If Kirby hit the field, it was over. I mean, Meta Knight said peace out. He didn't even deal with it. Kirby dealt with a, I think his average, like, kill count was three and a half. Every time Kirby hit the field, he roughly got three and a half people. Like, the rest of the team didn't really play. We, we got to see everybody because the random order allowed it, but my gosh, it was just Kirby. Um, so yeah, in the Season 3 Championship, Kirby will be here. I don't know if anyone else will, but... I can guarantee you Kirby is going to be here because, my gosh, that was crazy. Thanks for watching. Um, next episode might be a um, a viewer suggestion. I've gotten a good number of those um, in the past week or two, and I have really liked a few of them. So I may do, um, I may do one next time. I may do a few um, in the next few episodes. And of course, um, if your idea gets picked, I'll give you a shout out at the start of the episode. And um, I may alter it, but just know that, I mean, your idea was picked. And um, I really do appreciate you guys um, contributing to the series. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And um, long live Kirby and his, um, his just utter domination.